Okay, so should we start? I guess. So this thing is about evaluating discourse, forum software, and uh, some decision-making platforms. And uh, Sophie Gautier was supposed to give the presentation on discourse, but she unfortunately had to go run some errands. So I will present this topic myself. And we should have Daniel Rodriguez present about the decision-making platforms, but I'm not seeing him around. I and can hear you now. Sorry for interrupting. I'm just... Yeah, yeah. It feels okay. fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I unfortunately cannot present about the decision-making platforms, but I can give a shot at um, presenting this discourse thing. I hope you're seeing these slides. We are. Oh my gosh. Well then, this is the agenda briefly. Why, how, what, what's next, and testers' feedback. So what's the point of this? Well, we ran AskBot for many, many years as a questions and answers platform. And uh, TDF invested in it and its maintenance, but unfortunately, uh, it did not receive uh, much investment from other sources. So the, the decision was made to look into other solutions. And at the same time, uh, there was demand for simply a discussion forum as well. So we figured that it would be a good idea to just use uh, the discussion forum with like a dual purpose. So it would have the questions and answers functionality as well. And there are some newer purely questions and answers platforms, but they are quite young. So they haven't really proven themselves yet. So uh, we disqualified them from the evaluation or actually they were so new that some of them were started after we started looking into this. And yeah, this course seems pretty nice. I myself evaluated uh, several of these discussion forum platforms like PHP, BB, Flarum, and tools like this, but we have quite strict requirements because we want to have a solid multi-language support and certain other things. So, so this really only left this course. And yeah, it, it does have a pretty large user base and uh, contributor base. Uh, yeah, actually, if, if someone has the, the uh, test instance link in their browser history, they might share it in the chat. I forgot to do that. So people might want to check it out. So the AskBot moderators were invited to go and test the site which Gilem deployed. And there was intense testing and, and feedback and uh, various uh, plugins were installed based on on the demand and feedback there uh, so now there just needs to be the final decision uh, do we switch from ask what to discourse and then we can do more so uh, among the plugins installed was a, a tool that allows logging in via the tdf single sign-on service and of course the questions and answers plugin and a plugin to mark a topic as solved and yeah it has one category per language and uh, various other functionalities activated i don't know if i should just enumerate all of these so the next step would be tweaking the the cosmetics of the site and this would then uh, 
move to a second round of feedback regarding this these visual choices. So Sophie is going to ask for even more feedback. And, and the feedback so far was quite positive. And Sophie says that in her own experience, ask, ask what users are a bit confused often and don't use it like like this Stack Overflow type of platform, but uh, treat it like a discussion forum. So in her own opinion, this course is really much better suited for, for this thing that we want to do, provide user support and general discussion. Yeah, so that's it on this. Yeah, thanks for sharing the, the forum link there. And I'm not sure if I would be able to answer any questions, but if you have something you want to say, please do. We can advertise uh, the next or a late session um, on the website, on the user experience work that is being done. Um, it starts as 9 p.m. UTC, so late for Europeans, but it is an interesting way to, to um, get to the point what is actually needed. Yes, indeed, I can share the link to this website event. Okay, so I don't know, I guess we didn't. Ilmari, I have a question. Okay. Um, uh, we should uh, probably uh, design uh, the way that people will approach this course because um, it's also it's a forum it's a question and answer it has multiple features and uh, for example um, if i'm running the brazilian discourse i absolutely need to have several categories uh, question and answers things like that and this has to be i mean it's not just to use the, the, the tool and test, okay, I, I like it, but it, it, the success will depend on the way we design the different categories and, and, and forums, right? So you need like uh, specific Brazilian categories as well. I, like my understanding is that this is going to uh, replace or supersede uh, the mailing lists which uh, in the case of the Brazilians, uh, many of these are almost never used anymore. So people would like to have uh, different ways to get in touch with the uh, community. And uh, very often they use uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, other kind of Telegram channels. And um, uh, that's, that's why I think that we uh, uh, need a way to um, have a service that could be um, serving all these kind of questions that we can uh, uh, t get in touch with the uh, end user. So, for example, if we have a group in Facebook, we would like to forward the questions to this course, but then we should absolutely have a good landing page for this course if the, the user has a question that needs to be answered. So there is a lot of work to do in uh, tweaking uh, this course with uh, the right uh, configuration for end user point of view. Yeah, right, because we have such uh, a multitude of the categories uh, as the languages keep increasing. And it's, it's a good point that there needs to be some clear landing page on how to navigate to what you're interested in.
Okay, so it, it seems that um, Daniel is unable to talk to us about the decision-making platforms. Maybe smarter time. So does anyone have any strong opinions on the tools that we use at the moment? Any other stuff we could chat about? Of course, I can have a monologue about some <laughs> web application. I mean, for example, Bugzilla, that old beast, which uh, seems to be in a bit of a limbo at the moment, but it's finally uh, coming to a state where they are able to uh, provide an upgrade path to the completely revamped version. So the story was that uh, several years ago, there was this uh, internal fork in Mozilla. So Mozilla went and, and developed Boxilla further and uh, the changes could not be integrated into up, upstream Boxilla. Yeah, so that's a good lesson. Never do things like that. <laughs> Um, but now, finally, this knot has been untangled and, yeah, we are basically at the point that we could even deploy the the upgrade testing on our servers at the moment. Uh, I guess Daniel is approaching a computer. So he might be able to present after all. Uh, yeah, Dennis had a question. Is there already a decision? And uh, now there is, is no decision about moving from AskBot to Discourse yet. If there was a decision, it would have been announced on the mailing lists. And uh, upgrade path. Uh, yeah, Gilem wrote about that. Uh, there is no one-to-one -one mapping possible or ask what, but I would guess that uh, lots of important content can be migrated. After all, it's just a question of, of mapping database tables or fields, but not all of the metadata. I guess I lost the, the beginning of the workshop uh, since I'm here from two minutes. Uh, have you heard, already described the differences between uh, AskBot and uh, this course and the reasons for which we, we should uh, eventually move? Yes, yes. I, I presented uh, Sophie's slides because she, she couldn't join at this moment. And um, yeah, I don't actually have the slides up anywhere, but <laughs> I can put them somewhere later. But if, okay. if you have something, please ask or discuss. Oh, at the moment, I can't remember the differences between AskBot and this course, and I can't remember why we should move. I remember that this uh, topic was on the table, is on the table from a while, but I can't remember the differences because um, I'm not that uh, skilled and not that used to them. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't know if I should bore the others by repeating <laughs> what I said, but yeah, so no, basically, no yeah, yeah.
well, unless there is nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Daniel Rodriguez um, could present on, on the decision-making platforms, but he uh, needs to reach a computer, so he's on mobile. He's already connected. He's already connected, but he has no sound. But I think he's on mobile. Okay. Yeah, I think he should refresh the page then. Daniel, can you try speaking? Oh no, connection lost again. Oh dear. Hey, Aaron. Uh, we are waiting for Daniel to possibly present about the decision making platforms. Uh, Shinji is asking when are we going to move to this course. Uh, the official announcement has not been made, so Sophie will ask the current moderators for more feedback on their experience with the test instance. And then we should have enough data to make the decision. There are some red mine tickets that you can join also. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes, we hear you. Okay, <laughs> great. Amazing. Uh, sorry for the for the delay. I need to uh, come to work for some kind of emergency. Uh, so, uh, decision making platform. Uh, the intention uh, behind the, the proposal is to uh, use uh, a tool that uh, make easier the communication between the, the body of trustees and the board uh, in the first time in the uh, I think we when we need to uh, to carry a discussion there are too many ways too many channels open at the same time we have mailing lists we have uh, uh, 
uh, Telegram groups and so on. And, and we need uh, some uh, place where um, more friendly, uh, per se, uh, where we can uh, propose an idea, uh, collect uh, feedback and uh, get more participation. Uh, that's the, 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 the key uh, tool in participation. It's uh, extremely low. Um, for instance, we have uh, on mailing list, we have uh, just a subset of, of users, uh, of uh, members. So uh, not everyone is uh, following discussions. Uh, let's take the TDC staff, for instance. Uh, there, there was many threads and, uh, about the, the topic and not many people involved. So we need to uh, find another tool to uh, involve more participants. That's the, the idea behind the, the proposal of uh, uh, another platform. And, and the one, uh, the ones in fact, currently uh, being evaluated are Decidim uh, from the, um, an Hispanic city uh, development and Lumio, it's uh, an, another. Uh, both uh, makes pretty much the same. Uh, as said, you can uh, make a proposal, you may collect feedback about that. You, people may, can make another proposal and, and, and get some uh, more feedback. Uh, so you can uh, achieve some uh, better understanding about uh, a topic. Uh, that's the, the idea. Uh, uh, currently, uh, only Decidim is deployed under uh, the TDF infra with some issues uh, on, the, on the mailing, uh, uh, the capacity to, to send mail. Uh, so, uh, I, I propose myself to, to, to make such a deployment, but uh, unfortunately uh, I couldn't uh, um, dedicate uh, in the way I would like uh, to, to, to the task uh, in the recently. Uh, my availability changed, so uh, since uh, a couple of months at least I, I couldn't uh, follow with the, the implementation. But so far, uh, as said, uh, what we have uh, uh, deployed is Decidim, which is uh, pretty different uh, from uh, what we now have available at uh, TDF uh, tooling. Um, once uh, um, solve the, the mailing issues. We can follow discussions or proposals uh, through, through mail too. So uh, I, I, I don't see it as, as a replacement of uh, any of the tooling currently available since it, it's a, uh, it has a different approach. Uh, uh, I think we need to uh, to test in a, in a real case scenario, uh, so we can uh, see how uh, people interact with uh, with such tooling. Uh, that's my my point of view. Um, that's what I what I can say so far. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. So, any questions for Daniel? And from my side, just thanks a lot for bringing the topic up and for looking into it. And I mean, we, we all are busy and have many things and lives can change. So that, that, is, that is fine, it simply happens. But I want to thank you for bringing the idea up and pursuing it. I think it's a good initiative, even if you need some more time to look into it and implement it. But the idea already is quite, Quite good. So thanks a lot for that. My pleasure.
Okay, so if there are no more questions, I propose that uh, we close the session if no one has any better ideas. From my side, it's fine. Thanks a lot for your work, for looking into that and for presenting it. Uh, this is a, a long-term goal. I think the final decision was initially planned for LibreCon 2021. So before all our lives and maybe priorities changed. So we are quite well on time and uh, <clears throat> we look into that and uh, update you as we can. And I think uh, we will, of course, not make a big change in a year from now, but try to gradually improve and bring things forward. But the estimated time that was around next year, that time, just for the, the expectation and the planning. And, um, the idea initially was also, it's not necessary necessary that we make a change we want to evaluate the outcome could also be there is no change required only partially changes required so it was an open question that is said had to be answered like in a year from now and this is the first kickoff so to speak to present the things that are going on Right on. So I hope to see some of you in the website presentation later tonight. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. So, bye bye. I think bye -bye. that room is closed for the moment. There are no further workshops for today. So we continue with a regular schedule in room one, room two, and of course in the chat room, where people can meet for virtual beer, coffee, or whatever you prefer. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.